Hello everybody, and welcome back to Dying Light. We're gonna try again to get the stupid goddamn and met character back to the tower. I started it off camera so we could just proceed a little bit quicker. I don't know if this is even possible on this difficulty. I really doubt it at this point, because I've been struggling with this for like over half an hour now. Actually, more than an hour if you combine the last video. Oh yeah, I forgot to put the... <clears throat> Sorry guys. Remember, turn the volume off on the TV. Let's get moving. Oh my god. When you're ready to record, it's not that hard to remember, right? Fucking god. I, oh, shit! This is really bad. Really bad, he's already taking damage. Slice him up, Ray, slice him up. Come on, take him out, for fuck's sake. Yeah, I'm using this weapon that I just purchased because it doesn't have any toxic effects, so it shouldn't be able to damage him at all. I will chop you down. Out of my way! Out of my way! He's waiting! Alright, so now we gotta deal with the guy with the train car, right? Yep, fucker's still there. Take him out ASAP. Why did I fall off? Why did I fall? I did not want to fall off. I did not mean to fall off there. If he got like one or two shots off. Also, I did die like off camera, and like the internet told me, you lose all your legendary points. All of them at that point. When you die on this difficulty, all your points are gone. Kind of a bit harsh, what can I do, right? Not much. You're done. Why do you say there's still markers here? There's no one else alive. There's a guy in here, yeah, okay. Hey, fucker. I want to snap your neck, but I couldn't. Also, Brecken was not kidding. They have not done a single airdrop since we've been done Rice's place. Which I figure it makes sense, because why would he say that otherwise, but yeah. If I want more airdrops, I gotta go to the next area. Everything is still here. Get me to the tower, and I'll give you your share. Let's go. Uh, you make it sound so easy, don't you, Admet? So easy. I don't know what we're gonna do about the goons, though. Those goons are scripted to appear there, I don't know how we're going to deal with that. I really don't. Uh, I Based on Molotovs, I don't think that'll give us any more of an edge, though. Two, maybe three ah, fuck, of course they're here. See, I don't know if Fire could hurt this guy or not. Probably yes, but... Gotta clear this crowd. Oh, come on, I'm mad. Yeah, they're gonna have to do this at least one more time. He's dead. God damn it. What does the game want from me at this point? Why you had to spawn two goons here? Kind of a bit ridiculous, don't you think? I would use my rifle to make quick work of the goon, but then... That could attract more of the fucking virals. So there's no way for me to win this, I don't think. Maybe if I kill them now, they won't reappear? I have no idea. We really don't. I'm hoping that'll be the case, but I really don't know. Oh my fucking god, see? See what I mean? Yeah. 
Ah, oh, fuck! I'm gonna die. I'm going to die. Get over the fence, Crane. Over the fucking fence. How'd they get behind me already? Good god. I'm gonna try to kill the goons. Maybe that'll, like, cause the scripted thing to, like, not appear because I killed them already. I don't know. I'm running out of ideas here. I really am. I'm also running out of patience. I'm just hoping if I do manage to complete this, that the reward is like substantially good. You need, like a legendary blueprint or something? I don't know. I have no idea what could possibly. <laughs> Fuck. Bird motherfuckers. So many fucking virals among these biters. Oh my god. I think there's more virals than biters at this point. Which I can't deal with. There's too fucking many of them. Get the goons over here too. Yeah, he's over here. Get off of my porch. Yeah, the gate took out a lot of them. I really like these gate traps. Stay down, bitch. Stay the fuck down. Oh, God. Oh, fuck! I don't know the second goon's right there. I did not fucking see him. Oh, my fucking God! Just... Oh, my... It just never stops. I liked it so much better when these fucking quick ones would not appear unless you made a lot of noise. No, you stay around the area too long it's difficult. They just fucking appear anyway. Oh my god, I gotta get overwhelmed here if I stay. Yeah, these are very good weapons I have, they're still not doing jack shit to these enemies. What if we make kids like crazy too? How many fucking virals are here? This is ridiculous. Absolutely ass nine. The fire doesn't even seem to damage them that much. Kinda of bullshit. See, the fire doesn't even slow them down even. You think the fire would slow them down a bit? Nope. Why doesn't the fire slow them down? Fire usually works against zombies in other iterations. Uh, why did I get knocked down? Why did I get knocked down? Why did I get knocked down? Look at all the fucking points I just lost. Why the fuck did I just get knocked down there? This is not the island where if you're out of stamina, you fall down. What the fuck was that all about? They're still fucking out there. Fuck you. Fuck all you fuckers. Where the hell is that goon? I just want to deal with the goon, get this stupid protect mission over with. Fuck all you fuckers. All you fuckers go rotten fucking hell. I could need to make a shit ton of medkits there. Oh my fucking god. That's why I killed you. Oh, there's the goon, huh? It, now you decide to show up, huh? No, I want the rifle, please. Rifle, rifle. I try to fuck ton more of them now. That like clockwork. It's like fucking clockwork. Nothing I could do to avoid it. I mean, when is enough enough? Seriously. That's my question. When is enough fucking enough? I still hear the bitch grunting after me. Take offense. I'm just hoping they will not reappear, those fucking assholes with the hammers, cause whatever they're calling, rebar. Come on, probably some fucking slacker game. 
shoot! Don't shoot! I'm a good guy, okay? Yeah, I know. You said this to me like ten times already. My name is Ahmed, and two months ago, I made a huge mistake. I joined Rice's group. I know it was stupid, but what else could I do? People said he was grabbing all the antis in, so I figured it was smart. Do you know what they're like? They're maniacs! They hack up people for sport! I'm not like that. I had to get away. But Rice doesn't take well to people leaving. His crew shoot at me on sight. I want to join Brecken's group. But they shoot at me too. I don't have anything to pay you with. But I know some supply stashes Rice's guys keep in the city. They would be on the way. Did you know when you joined Rice's group? Shut up, Ahmed. I'm not interested in hearing this again. I was troubled. But I wanted to fit in. You know? I know, because you told me this multiple times already. Alright, wish me luck, guys. I'm sure. Why are there fucking enemies here already? Why are there enemies here already? Why? I'm supposed to be enemies in this goddamn street. I forgot there was a goon here. Keep running. Keep running. Please, for the love of God, I can deal with the rifle guy or the train car. Do not spawn those two fucking goons again. That's the least you could do for me, game, right? The least you could fucking do? I thought I lost like 30,000 plus points. Whatever the hell it is, 300,000? I don't know. What? Okay. One asshole I could deal with. Regular asshole I could fucking deal with. It's anything more than that, it's re, re uh, testing my luck here. <sighs> okay, he's gonna be on the car again, because he just keeps fucking respawning. We've got company. Ah, damn you! Stop fucking firing your gun! Got some shots off again. Come on, Crane. You have a bit more fucking stamina than that. Back up. Okay, one more guy in there. You dare start throwing shit at me. You're not leaving, shut up. Die, please. Die, please. Thank you. Okay. I think he's taking a single point of damage yet. That's pretty good. It's an ambush. Okay, they're gone. I'm it. They're gone. Everything is still here. Get me to the tower, and I'll give you your share. Let's go. Alright, do not spawn those two fucking goons, and I'll be content. I'll be so fucking content if you do not spawn those two assholes there. Please, for the love of God, throw me a fucking bone here, game. Don't be there. Fuck! Get back, get back. Okay, that was weird. Mom, we gotta get a fucking move on right now. Right now. Get to the goddamn tower. Just keep running. Keep on fucking running. Don't bump it to. Oh my god. Oh, are you serious? Fucking spewers. Oh my god. It never ends. Kid, the tower's right there, buddy. Yes, you should move on. Right there, up the fucking stairs. 
It's not that hard. Whatever you're gonna give me better be fucking worth it, I'm I swear to fucking Christ. I never would have made it without you. Do yourself a favor. Sure wouldn't have. Change of clothes. That would be my first purchase. Here's your cat. The next time you have to eat eyeballs, puff, puff, you pass. Club, you find a different club. Okay, is that all the goddamn quests we could do? There's still some challenges left. I'll worry about those later. Main story. Okay, back to the main story. The saviors. Which are where? Over, over there. Okay. How many minutes have I spent trying to get this fucker to the tower now? How many minutes? Like, 30 minutes? 45 minutes? Oh my god. That was rough. I don't know if I'll be able to get to the second area in this video, because oh, roughly half of it is done already, but we'll see. We'll see. If we have to go a bit longer, we might have to. I don't have a drink. I didn't bring a drink with me. What the hell is wrong? I always have a drink if you even do the recording. It's not that fucking hard. Again, just like with the volume. How do I goon? I got time for you. And apparently it's this building. How do we get in there? Grappling hook? Not that way, not on the barbed wire. Hold on. Can I get on the roof or not? Okay. It's not where the mattress was. Alright. Knock knock. What do you want? I'm looking for the saviors. Don't know what you're talking about. I'm one of Breckman's men from the tower. Don't care where you're from. Get your ass out of here or I'll stop being so fucking polite. Listen, I know you're smuggling people out of the slums. There's a girl who came through. Jade? I think you better get the hell out of here. I think you better shut the fuck up. I cut Rise up and now his whole goddamn gang is after me. I could use some cooperation here. You? You're the one who chopped Rice's hand off? Yeah. Damn straight. I have to get to Sector Zero. What's your name? Crane. Well, Crane, you're in for some heartbreak if you think going to Sector Zero will get you off Rice's shit list, but wait here. I got a guy here who claims he's the one who took Rice's hand off. Crane. Hmm. Yeah, that's what he said. You? Are you sure? Huh. Okay. Right. Satisfied yet? Okay, we'll get you to the other side. Right when? Right now. And what about payment? What you did to Rice, that's more than enough payment for us. Go to the collapsed tunnel that led to Old Town. Knock at the door that leads to the sewers. Someone will take good care of you. Will do. Thanks. Nah, man. Thank you. I wish I could shoot you, because I know what you do to, to me when I get down there. Alright. Try to tell me about the swamps, which is all the way over there. Crap. Alright. Alright, let's get the move on. If I could make it to Sector Zero or Old Town, whatever the hell you want to call it, before this video is done, that'd be great, because then I can start clearing out the area, get the safe houses done. Again, like I've been doing throughout the rest of this um, series already, main story stuff, side story stuff will be off limits. Quarantine zone challenges are fine. But let's see, let's just cross that bridge when we get to it. Right now, we have to actually get there first. Oh, though, I don't know why the other challenges aren't opening up yet, because we're at the final point where we're going to leave the slums. I mean, yeah, I know you can come back to the slums if you want to, but is that when the ch our challenges open? I don't remember. Hmm. Alright, where is this tunnel? Can I go for this tunnel to get there? Hold on, I guess so. Yep. Oh god. Goon, goon! I think I was able to jump back there. It does make you wonder, though, if Dead, if the dying, not Dead Rising, but Dying Light, if this Dying Light game is canon with a sequel coming up this December, we found the cure, didn't we? 
by giving the research to Dr. Camden, he make a cure, so why the hell is there another outbreak years later? I never understood that. How do you get up there? Because supposedly the second game takes place a few years after the first game in a new area, so I don't know. Oh yeah, this is where we had met with Ghazi, right? How do we get back up there? Up we go. How do I get on the highway, though? Can I not get there from here? Hold on. No, I can, but... There we go, okay. We just see if he was in the tunnel. Yep. Right here? Cool. At first, Jank was reluctant to even talk to me, but after I mentioned what I... Okay, I'm gonna need my gun here, I know that much, but is it now or later? I can't remember. Shit. Well, you can always have the quiff and change it, change it later, right? Guess we're going here. Open up. Green? Yeah, that's me. Good to meet you. I'm Hazan. I'm going to be helping you change your scenery. So did you take Jade through too? Who? She's from here. Dark hair, pretty, tough as nails. Uh, maybe. Don't know. We don't always ask names. Okay, he's already lying to me. All right. Follow your guide. <laughs> Do I have a map? No, I don't even have a map. This area. All right. You could walk a little quicker, considering what's at stake here. Also considering the DLC the, for this game, the following for Dying Light, is it's actually be canon as well. There's no way to know at this point. Okay, is that the wound? Oh, yeah. Dad, it's Mr. Crane. Well, well. Small world. Dawood, we need to talk about your situation. Sorry about the wild goose chase, but I couldn't risk you tailing me. These guys are pretty serious about following their procedures. This isn't fair to Salma. Salma and me are done. That's not the point. So, what is? You got something in mind? I've still got a gun, you know. Crane, we've got the rule. Everybody minds their own business. If you don't follow the rules, you don't go through. <sighs> no problem. Oh, you stupid idiot. You think just because you have a gun, you're gonna survive the apocalypse? From here on out, you're on your own. The route is marked. I'll stay in touch over radio. It's been a pleasure, my friend. You're not my friend. You are not my friend. Where am I going? We need to do this one by one. And this man needs to go first. But he just mm. got you. We've been here for hours. I don't make the rules. Wait here. <sighs> Crane, why can't you ever tell when you're being set up? Pretty damn obvious in this case. Okay, let me just fall down here? Sure. Alright, swim for your life, man. Don't drown in this little tunnel here. Okay, I'm gonna need El Grappling Hook here, maybe. You could just open the door right there. Isn't there a door right in Maybe there isn't. Okay, whatever. How am I going to get up there? I climb here? Ah. Whoa, 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 shit. I want a grappling hook from in the water? I don't know. Apparently not. I can do that. Nice. Then go there from here. Okay, cool.
trying to remember, do we run to Rise's Men first, or do we run to the zombies first? I honestly can't remember. Anything I could look at while we're here? I don't know. I don't see anything. Follow the arrows. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, thanks for your vote of confidence, dick. <sighs> it's just so stupid. Crane has a brain, right? Dark Machete, alright. You should know, like, why should I be the one to go first? Is that because I'm being set up here? Obviously. But no, he never put, connects the dots. He never connects the dots. I need to do that, fuck. I probably had the grappling hook equipped. Okay, good. Deal some zom zoms first. Get the melee weapons ready. Rather than waste bullets if I don't have to. Plus, for all I know, virus could appear in this little corridor anyway. Wow, this bat sure sends them flying. I appreciate that. All right, just get out of my way, please. If everyone would just stay on my wave, I'd be a lot happier. You can't kill me. If you strike me down, I will return more powerful than you could possibly imagine. I know it's not the exact line, but I don't remember what the exact line is. Sorry. Is it if you strike me down, I will become more pow I will become more powerful than you could possibly imagine? I think that was it, right? Well, a fun fact, apparently Alec Guinness did not look back on his time in the franchise very positively. In fact, according to interviews, it was his idea to get his character killed off in the New Hope. Of course, he, so that he could, quote, not to say these stupid lines anymore. It's a shame, because he did receive an Oscar nomination for supporting acting from the New Hope. And yet his time with the franchise was not view that very fondly. It's, it's unfortunate. I mean, he obviously lived... I don't know when he died exactly, but... He must have at least seen the legacy that the original trilogy made, right? And yet he didn't appreciate his time with it. It's, it's really unfortunate. What can you do? Some people just don't like roles that they're told. I don't know, because their integrity is matters more than the paycheck? I don't know. But yeah, Harrison Ford, I remember, in, in their fact about the New Hope, he's only paid a few hundred dollars for his role in the New Hope. Which is, like, insanely unheard of for, like, someone to be paid that little for any type of movie. Yeah, it's only, like, a few hundred dollars. It wasn't even a thousand dollars. Like, a few hundred dollars, I think, or some incredibly low amount. Of course, then again, Jonah Hill was paid, like, a few hundred dollars just to work uh, as part of the Wolf of Wall Street. That has a different story, though. Apparently, this is what I read. The crew of the Wolf of Wall Street weren't very interested in hiring Jonah Hill as the, uh, what was his name, Donnie character. So he said, okay, well, if you agree to hire me, I will take a very small amount of money from you guys. And they actually agreed to that, so he was paid, like, six hundred dollars, something crazy about like that. Just so he could work in the film. Which I think worked out very well for him, considering he was a very big Scorsese fan. Mark Scorsese, the guy who directed the movie. And plus, he got a second Academy Award nomination for supporting acting in that movie. So, definitely worth it, in my opinion. I hope he feels the same way too, Jonah Hill. If you can do more stuff like that, more dramatic, semi dramatic, or stuff like that, I think you'll actually win the Academy Award. It's hard to tell, though. It all depends on the who, like, is the competition, you know? Because that year Jared Leto won that category, and 100% deserved to win for that. His role in Dallas Buyers Club was incredible. He did so well in that. It's weird, because that was the first movie he returned to after t taking a hiatus from acting. Apparently he was doing a lot of work with his band, and t 
That was the first film he actually decided to do, and boom, he wins an Oscar for it. Although I must fault Jared Leto for being a little spiteful about the Joker thing. When Todd Phillips was making Joker, apparently he tried to get the movie shut down because they wouldn't hire him as the Joker again. You know, they went with Joaquin Phoenix, who also won an Academy Award for that role, by the way. I mean, it's kind of like uh, conceited of Jared Leto to say like, oh yeah, well if you're not going to hire me, I want this movie shut down, you know? I got fault him on there, but I don't know. Never saw a Suicide Squad because I heard it was terrible. But in that notion, I'm like, I heard the Joker is only in the actual final cut for like a few minutes, so I don't see what he's so upset about, really. Oh, we got a goon. We got a goon. All right. I'm gonna deal with you. All right, gotta shoot you. No choice. Hold still, please. Come on, Hulk. Okay, good. One to my left. Who's the one on my... Oh, he fell down. Okay, whatever. It's fine by me. Let me turn this valve. It's a shame, because ever since I started YouTube, I've had a huge falling out with movies and television. I was never a huge television fan to begin with, but movies I was like obsessed with back in the 2000s and 2010s. Okay, early 2010s I should say, not the late 2010s. Yeah, but it just takes up so much of my goddamn time. Where'd you come from? I just haven't had three, like a chance to fall back onto it. I, I think in 2020 alone, I was still like, what? Not just 20, I think it's 2019 or 2020, I was still like two movies in theater for the whole year. That's insane, right? So it was whatever year Joker came out, I saw Joker and Rise of Skywalker, I think. Those only two movies I saw that entire year in theaters. I don't got time for this. Back the fuck up, bitch. Let me repair my goddamn weapon, please. Fuck off! Oh my god. It might take a little while longer to get to Old Town, but I really want to get done this video, guys, so I can get some stuff done off camera. If this becomes a long video, please bear with me. I apologize in advance. It has to be coming nighttime, I think. God damn it. Okay, I don't think that should affect us, considering we're in a story mission, but we'll see. Alright. Done. Oh, quite a few boxes for us to look at here. Get that. Rifle ammo? Don't mind if I do. And that's sweet spot. Got it. Back to the movie thing, I actually worked at Blockbuster Video when they were still active, believe it or not. I worked there from 2005 to 2011. So like, six years roughly, until they shut us down finally and we have the store in bankrupt. It seemed like a safe thing to go into back in 2005, because there weren't many streaming services. Netflix was still doing uh, DVDs by mail. I thought it would be like a self, uh, like a safe profession to get into, plus back then I was obsessed with movies anyway. Yeah. Shame it didn't work out. People got lazy, it all came down to. People got lazy, technology got better, and we couldn't compete with that. Where are we going? Where the hell are we going? I was supposed to follow a marked icon. Am I supposed to go in this way or not? Oh, I'm supposed to go up. Right? Up, maybe? Hold on. I was only a part-time worker, I only worked there like a few hours each week because of the fact that I get government benefits, I can't really work full-time. Oh jeez, hold on. 
Yeah, it was a tough job. We kept having to self, like, pitch these things, like memberships and programs that people never want. And, and even if they said no, you have to convince them otherwise. You have to use your power and ability as a marketing salesman to get them to buy these packages they never would never want otherwise. And it was an easy job. I was pretty good at it because I'm very convinced when it comes to stuff like that. But still, it was not an easy job. I think all the constant complaints about the late, uh, okay, late fee stuff. Late fees were abolished during my tenure, but then they... It was actually a restocking fee thing, you know. Instead of paying a late fee, you pay a restocking fee. Like, that's sort of deceitful advertising. But, I got, don't play, shoot the messenger, man. I just work here. I, nothing I can do about it. And then they brought back the late fees. Like, our last two or three, like, one or two years we were in business. They brought back the late fees. Uh Yeah, things die out like great. Okay. Sorry, but uh, I had no choice. Rise has me by the balls. What? What did you do? What I had to. <laughs> what can I say? The world is an unforgiving place. You're an asshole. Am I elaborating how he had you by the balls? Because you're really not making that much sense. Do you have one of your family members hostage? I don't know. Whatever. Okay, they're gonna start shooting at us. Okay, we gotta get out of this area. Survive the ambush. <laughs> you mean it sounds so simple, don't you, game? Don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay, we got a surface running out of air. I surface here? Thank god, okay. Turn the light off, please. Alright, heal. Where are they? Where are the fuckers? It might be tough. I think there's like a, quite a few of them in this next room. Yep, oh, yeah, they see me. <laughs> That's all the, like, music they have going here, though. Give them that. Ah, crap. Yeah, that has a lot of red arrows in that next room. A lot of red arrows. Get out of my safe space. Who's left? Show me that big melon of yours. There we go. I'm so low well on naked, it's not even funny. I'm gonna have to scratch around for gauze and alcohol when I get a chance. Nice shot. Oh Christ, now I gotta have to go for ammo. Oh crap, this is to the left of me, shit. Nope, 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 nope. Might die here. Nope, get out, get the fuck out of my face, please. Where's the guy on the left? Ah, Christ, stay down. Wait till you heal. Don't expose yourself like that. You fucker, coming around the bend, huh? Well, now you lost your head. How's that feel? How's that feel? Alright, oh, you can't answer me because you're fucking dead. How do we get out of here? I don't remember. This way? No, that's where we came in from. Hmm. The real sad thing is you never see Hazan again. You can never get even with him. I don't know. You ever find out how he was in, that, in this predicament anyway? It's like, I guess it's just not important to the story so much. Oh, he, it's, Rise has you by the balls? And what matter? Is he holding one of your family hostage? I don't think so, you know? Eh, uh, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Either way, I still don't like plot holes in my games. Are we going the right way? 
Where are we going? Oh, Wather. I see the Wather in front of me. So where's the things I don't see that went into the background? Like, okay, we're actually in Old Town now. Cool. Let's take my rifle out. There could be more Rises men around here. Hmm. Okay, anything useful while we're here. Probably a whole bunch of more blueprints we could find uh, Old Town as well. Gotta keep an eye out for them. Okay. Also need more melee weapons. Not finding any weapons in these chests, I don't appreciate that. Where are we going? This way? I know more Ryze's men are up ahead, that's why I'm not running. See what I mean? I think they're all over this room, as a matter of fact. Reckon, do you copy? Crane here. What's oh. On, Tell everyone to stay away from the saviors. They sold me out to Rice. I barely made it out alive. Shit. I hope you're okay. Be sure to yeah, I'm all right. when you get to Sector Zero. She's the only friendly face you have over there. Hmm. Got it. Will do. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Okay, how do we get up? Is there like a stairway we can climb? Hold on. What? Oh. How do I not see that? No, it's not where we go. How do we get to the second floor aside from using the grappling hook? There's no stairs I could climb? Can I just jump up? Okay, there we go. That works. Okay, now we go this way. Hold on. It says to go up. Hold that thought. Up, up, up. I'm get up from here. No. Is there another level to this place? Hold on. Ah, yes, there is. Okay, cool. Okay, any moment now we'll be out in Old Town. Savior's my ass. The bastards are working with rice. You should have realized that when they said this guy has to go first, Crane. Come on. And we're here. Voila. Whole new area to explore. Okay, here goes nothing. Jade, it's Crane. Do you copy? Jade, it's Crane. Can you hear me? Damn it. All right. It's time for some local talent. Troy. This is Crane. Do you copy? Crane? It's great to hear from you. What can I help you with? Yeah, I'm in your neck of the woods now, and I'd love to put our heads together. Where can I find you? You're here? In the Zero? Fantastic! Have you seen a pair of towers, one taller than the other, with scaffolding around them? We call that our loft. Head that way, and we'll be waiting. Okay, I... One more thing. Could... Hold Camden, on. Is there a bounty Crane board here? here? Camden, can you hear me? In Sector Zero, is Jade with you? No, she hasn't been able to reach me yet. And even if she does manage to get here, it won't be easy getting in. I had to barricade myself inside because of Rise and his thugs. I know. You okay? Trapped inside my lab, but safe. You coming my way? Not yet. Eventually. First, I have to find Jade and recover Zero's research. Okay, I'll sit tight then. Not like there's anywhere for me to go. Be careful out there, Crane. I hope you have enough food and water to survive for a bit, Doc, because you're going to be stuck there for quite a while. Okay, so now we should be able to get the requisition pass. We're going to pick that up. And we're going to stop here. Let's look at the map real quick before we stop, actually. Yeah, we have to go there as part of the main story, but we're going to explore a bit first. Off camera, like I said. Yep, a lot more safe houses to find, more stuff we could look at. We're going to be quite busy here. <laughs> okay, so thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you next time, okay?